Welcome back to your chemistry class children. Today uh, we are going to discuss about same matter. That is in our previous class we have discussed about matter in our surroundings. Today also we are going to discuss about uh, one matter but uh, we are not going to discuss in your syllabus. That is this is a uh, different type of matter that is in our daily life we are using varieties of substance isn't it? Uh, in our daily life, uh, uh, we are using many substance. Uh, chemistry is very important role in your life, you know very well. So, in that, we have many chemicals daily we are using in our life. From uh, toothpaste, morning we are using toothpaste. And uh, for cooking food, we are using uh, many substances as the chemicals we are using in cooking food. And uh, for washing clothes, we are using the soap, detergent, everything that is made up of chemicals. That is, you know very well. Isn't it? So, today also uh, we are going to discuss about one matter but this matter is not included in your subject. So, uh, feel free and just we are going to discuss about a uh, very important matter nowadays. You know that uh, nowadays uh, COVID-19 spreads uh, everywhere. So, due to that we have to clean our hands properly. Isn't it? We need to clean our hands properly with the help of uh, sorry, I forgot. First, I need to clean my uh, hand with the help of what is this? Sanitizer. See, you know very well. Uh, this sanitizer, just we need to take a drop. And then, with the help of this, I need to clean my hand with the help of this sanitizer by rubbing my hands together. See, we need to rub our hands when that full hand sanitizer will get dry. Isn't it? So see, now the hand sanitizer fully got dry. So up to dry condition, we need to rub our hands. So today we are going to discuss about this matter that is sanitizer and its importance and also disinfectant. So these sanitizers and disinfectants is very important nowadays in our life. Because both these will uh, kill germs and also it will uh, clear uh, that uh, fungi and bacteria and uh, it kills germs and it will uh, mostly it reduces 99.9% .9 germs when we are uh, washing our hands properly with the help of even soap or with the help of uh, sanitizer. Okay, listen children, today we are going to discuss about the sanitizers and disinfectant. Listen. See here, first uh, if you need to clean uh, your hands with the help of uh, soap and water, what you have to do, you, uh, you know very well, uh, we will use that 8 step, we need to clean that uh, our hands with the help of by using soap and water, isn't it? You have to uh, wash our hands with the help of soap and then with the help of running water, we need to clean our uh, hands, isn't it? So that soap and water work to remove all type of germs from our hand. That's why we are using uh, soaps and water to clean our hands. Same like this, instead of soap, uh, wherever soap is not possible, better uh, we will use that sanitizer. Okay, there is water is not possible also, we will use sanitizer mostly. That sanitizer acts by uh, killing germs on the skin. So that's why we are using like these sanitizers. In that, mostly uh, the number of uh, germs in many situations it is used to kill with the help of that is alcohol based sanitizer. Do you know what is alcohol? See in your 10th standard uh, we will learn about that alcohol in your uh, carbon and its compounds lesson. Uh, see, just now I will inform you alcohol is nothing. This is one of the organic compounds. What is organic compound? Do you know what is organic compound? It's nothing. It is one of the chemical substance which is made with the help of carbon. So this is one of the carbon compound. Uh, mostly uh, you know very well about uh, that is ethanol and methanol, ethyl alcohol and methyl alcohol. Do you know that uh, C2H5OH. This is the formula for that is ethyl alcohol. We will call it as an ethyl alcohol and this is we will call it as an methyl alcohol or methanol. 
एथिल अल्कोहल और एथेनॉल दिस इज मेथिल अल्कोहल और मेथेनॉल सो अल्कोहल बेस्ड सैनिटाइजर जनरली इट इज यूज्ड टू किल जर्म्स दिस सैनिटाइजर्स कैन क्विकली रिड्यूस द नंबर ऑफ जर्म्स इन मेनी सिचुएशंस मोस्टली एट लीस्ट वी नीड टू यूज अ 60 परसेंटेज अल्कोहल बेस्ड सैनिटाइजर यू नो दैट Uh, generally, if we will consume alcohol, means it is uh, bad for our health. But this uh, alcohol, if we are using in the form of sanitizer, it will kill germs. Mostly, these alcohol-based sanitizers can quickly reduce the number of germs in many situations. So nowadays, we are using these alcohol-based sanitizer. Same like this, most of the that the soap uh, and water hand wash. or this alcohol based hand wash uh, anyhow generally the hand wash reduces the amount of all type of germs as well as pesticide as well as uh, metal uh, that is some metal impurities also present in our hand then that metals also uh, it will remove and uh, with the help of this hand washing so while hand washing it will reduce the amount of germ pesticide as well as metal present in our hands same like this you have to use these sanitizers generally uh, when you have to use means that is we can't when in which place we can't use soap and water in that place we can apply these sanitizer generally so sanitizers are very important nowadays uh, to clean our hands with the help of sanitizers Uh, we can remove uh, germs. Mostly, these sanitizers will kill germs. And also, nowadays we are using many uh, disinfectants also. Now, we are going to discuss about when and where we will use these sanitizers. Just listen. So listen. So we need to clean hands with the help of sanitizer. You know very well. uh when you need to clean this uh your hands with the help of these hand sanitizers means and you have to clean with the help of that 60% alcohol sanitizers uh, before and after when you have to use before and after touching your eyes and nose and uh, mouth same like this after touching your uh, mask uh, and then next after entering and leaving a public place because if we are moving to some other places in that places we will meet many types of uh, uh, people around us so each and every one uh, we can't believe that each and every one uh, they are not uh, they are using their hands with the help of proper washing with the help of hand sanitizers we need to keep ourselves safe in public place so wherever we are going we have to uh, whenever we are entering and whenever we are leaving that place we need to use these uh, hand sanitizer uh, properly then same like this and you have to uh, we are going to uh, some other places like malls or uh, some other theaters or in our uh, in outing we are going that some park if you are moving into some other public places in that places we have uh, some uh, door handles and some tables we have and electronic devices we have and many uh, some objects we have so if you need to touch that object uh, we we can't believe that objects are uh, as well as that objects are already cleaned or that object do not have any germs so due to that reason we need to clean uh, our hands properly with the help of uh, hand sanitizers before and after uh, touching the Uh, door handles and tables uh, chairs uh, walls and also some electronic devices and objects water whatever it is an outside if you are touching that objects also you have to clean your hands before touching also you need to clean your hands with the help of uh, sanitizer and same like this you have to treat uh, a cut or a wound so if uh, un unnecessary, unnecessary if you are Uh, moving some places uh, accidentally if you are uh, uh, attending any a uh, wound or uh, some cut happens if uh, before treatment and also after treatment uh, in both time also you need to clean your hands with the help of hand sanitizer as well as 
uh, after using the toilet compulsory we need to use hand sanitizer it is very important and germs uh, to avoid germs after using uh, toilets and before using toilets in both places you have to use hand sanitizer and uh, very important thing uh, we know very well in our home uh, mainly we have uh, pet animals isn't it we have many pet animals in our home while handling the pet animals that pet animals also uh, in, in on that hair it has some uh, germs on it so we need to uh, play with that pair pet animals before playing and after playing we need to clean with the help of sanitizer and same like this when we are treating our pets when you are when you are feeding your pet, pet uh, when you are playing with your pet animal in each and every time before playing and after playing and both time also you need to clean your hands with the help of sanitizer same like this after uh, that is using that blowing your nose and same coughing or sneezing you know very well uh, during coughing and sneezing uh, your uh, what's that moisture will travel in some other places due to that uh, you have to clean with the help of sanitizer and after touching any garbage so uh, mostly that garbage is uh, contaminated um, uh, very well you know very well garbage is mostly it is contaminated with the help of bacteria and viruses so before uh, touching that before touching that garbage after touching that after uh, throwing that garbage you have to clean your hands with the help of uh, sanitizers mostly if we are using that 60 percentage alcohol sanitizers clean your hands that is it is a uh, it gives relief from free from germs you know that when when you are using that uh, where you are applying that uh, hand sanitizer means before and after touching your eyes nose and mouth and before and after touching your mask and same like this, whenever you are going to enter in a public place or wherever you are leaving out in a public place, you have to use that hand sanitizer. And whenever you are going to public place or outside, uh, you will touch the door handles. That door handles, all uh, other people also they will use. The handles they will use uh, to go in or come out. So same like this, that door handles and tables, chairs and electronic devices and uh, windows like these substance also whenever you are using you have to clean your uh, hands and same like this uh, if uh, you are treating a wounded person or if you are treating a cut before and after that you have to clean your hand with the help of sanitizer it will avoid uh, that is infection and same like this after using the toilet and before using toilet compulsory you need to use your hand wash that is hand sanitizer and uh, before and after touching animals your pet animals also whenever you are feeding your pet animal or whenever you are touching your pet animal whenever you are playing with your pet animal you need to use hand sanitizer okay now listen next we are going to discuss about So now we are uh, surrounded, you know very well, uh, we are surrounded with the help of uh, disease causing germs and bacteria, isn't it? So in, uh, for uh, hand washing, uh, we should uh, use some steps, wherever we need to use and wherever uh, we don't want to use, you have to see some do's and don'ts is given here. Uh, in which place we have to use these hand sanitizers and where you have to keep where you have to use and where you don't want to use these uh, sanitizers that is given here see here uh, you have to use these sanitizers uh, that is if you can't use soap and water in which place uh, we can't use even soap and water in that place we can use these uh, 60 percentage alcohol made uh, sanitizer okay if water and soap is available you can use better water and soap but if you do not available, use these hand sanitizers, okay? And uh, you have to use this hand sanitizer mainly, it is best with the help of, uh, it contains at least 60 percentage of alcohol based sanitizer is uh, good. Then you have to uh, coat your uh, palms and uh, fingers. So that is best for you, whenever you are using this, you have to coat your palms and fingers, same like this. You need to wrap uh, thoroughly uh, 
for uh, 20 second uh, so no need to use any uh, what's that uh, uh, timing and all whenever you are applying that hand sanitizer and just rub slowly and easily it gets dry and it takes a uh, 20 second time so after drying it will complete 20 second time so at least you should uh, rub this thoroughly uh, by uh, 20 seconds and you have to store this in a very cool and dry location you know very well now uh, these alcohol is a good fuel alcohol act as a good fuel uh, easily it can catch fire it burn okay so due to that reason if you will keep under uh, sunlight or under uh, any hot condition uh, it catch fire and easily it get evaporated okay and it gets uh, wet easily so you have to store in a cool and dry location always keep this in your mind and you have to keep out uh, that is uh, out of uh, children's reach uh, you are high standard children uh, you know very well about uh, this is alcohol sanitizer you have to uh, keep it very safe but uh, children's they don't so you have to keep always these sanitizers that is uh, out of uh, children's reach same like this you have to dispose uh, suppose if it is uh, expired uh, sanitizer then you have to check always you have to check keep an eye with the expired date so if it is the date is expired already you have to throw it away because uh, these are made up of chemicals isn't it so uh, at a particular stage the chemicals will get contaminated so after that we can't use the chemicals if we will use it will get it will give some side effect also okay so uh, when you have to dispose this uh, hand sanitizer uh, this expired means you have to check the expiry date and you will get it out okay so these are do's so listen carefully uh, when you have to use these hand sanitizers that is if in which place you can't use soap and water in that place you will use these sanitizers okay inform to your parents and inform to your friends also uh, sanitizers are uh, good uh, good for hand washing but uh, when it is good means only uh, if it is soap and water is not available in that place it is good don't take it regularly okay and same like this you have to choose the hand sanitizers with the help of 60 percentage alcohol sanitizer okay that 60 percentage alcohol sanitizer is uh, good for uh, hand washing same like this that sanitizer whenever you are applying you have to pour for your palms and uh, fingers also and you have to rub thoroughly with the help of this hand sanitizer at uh, this for 20 seconds so if you forget the seconds just uh, that is uh, hum uh, one song and at the end of that song it will get dry yourself that is your birthday song or any song hum yourself and in your in your heart itself it will get dry just 20 seconds it will take just 20 seconds uh, by applying the hand sanitizer uh, just you will uh, uh, rub the hand sanitizer thoroughly after getting dry it will get over within 20 seconds and you have to store in cool and dry places because these hand, hand sanitizers are made up of alcohol isn't it that alcohol is in the, just already i have informed to you it is easily get evaporated as well as easily get fire because these alcohol uh, sanitizers generally whenever you are using in a hot place and uh, in that uh, with the help of hot condition uh, sometimes it may catch fire so due to avoid that situation you have to keep always in cool and dry location okay uh, same like the sub sometimes why we are using the dry location it will react with the moisture also it will give reverse reaction okay so always you should handle chemicals carefully whenever you are handling chemical you have to use that cool and dry condition and you have to keep these can sanitizer always outreach of children because this is very 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 uh, what is the dangerous one uh, if you need to uh, keep uh, with the help of uh, reach of children they will use this and they suppose they will ingest it will give um, uh, that is harmful to our health 
And same like this, you have to dispose whenever you are using the sanitizers. Uh, see that expired date. If it is expired already, don't use like that sanitizers. Only you have to dispose of expired sanitizer. Before that, you have to watch because. Uh, whenever it is given expired date, within that money it will work well. After that, it will give sometimes reverse reaction. Uh, it may cause some allergical problems and it may cause a skin problem and skin allergy and uh, it will use irritation and same like this, it gives some side effects also. So don't use expired hand sanitizers. Okay, so these are those in which places you have to use hand sanitizers. Uh, see to them. Okay, keep it in your mind children, share this with the help of your parents and friends also. Same like this, uh, give instruction to your youngers also. Okay, and see, this is don'ts. In which place uh, you have to uh, use hand sanitizers, we have discussed. In which place you no need to use hand sanitizers, that is don'ts are here, given here. See, don't ingest hand sanitizer. Why? Because if intake of hand sanitizers will cause many health problems, it is poison also, it makes poison to our body. So, don't ingest, it is very very important. And then next, uh, don't make your own hand sanitizer. It also gives side effect because we can't prepare a, a perfect homemade hand sanitizer. So, don't try to make your own hand sanitizer. Okay, and same like this, don't wipe or rinse it off easily. Okay, and same like this, uh, don't use in place of a regular wash. See, already I have informed you, use hand sanitizers, you cannot use uh, soap and water. In which place you cannot use soap and water, in that place you will use, it is better. But don't use in place of regular wash. If regularly, if you are using that hand sanitizer, uh, that alcohol hand sanitizer, it gives that uh, skin irritation and uh, what is that? Uh, it, it gives some side effects. So don't use in place of regular wash. Same like this, uh, don't touch your eyes, nose, mouth and your uh, face after use. Don't touch uh, your eyes or face or mouth or uh, your face after use because now, this will give uh, some uh, irritation and uh, some side effect. And same like this, don't uh, store in your kitchen and also in your car. Because already I have informed to you, this alcohol is a good fuel. Okay, inside if you are inside your car, if you are using, immediately it will catch fire and it may cause uh, accident. Same like this in kitchen also. Uh, we are using that uh, fires in the kitchen. So it, immediately it will catch fire and uh, can cause uh, accidental fire. So uh, don't store these hand sanitizers in cars and the kitchen. Okay, keep this in your mind and instruct your parents and friends also. Don't store your hand sanitizers in cars and kitchen. And same like this. Uh, don't handle a uh, fire and flame after use. So, in whenever we are, we are in which place we are using that fire and flames, uh, in that place don't use hand sanitizers. It causes severe burns. Okay, so these are don'ts. So keep this in your mind, children. Uh, in which place you don't want to use these hand sanitizer? First important thing, don't ingest. Keep this in your mind. Don't take it off. And same like this, don't make, try to make your own. Okay, don't try to make your own. Same like this, don't wipe it uh, in stuff. Same like this, uh, don't use uh, this in place of regular hand wash. Uh, just you have to use these hand sanitizers when we can't use soap and water. In that place only you can use. But don't use in place of regular wash. As well as, and uh, don't touch your eyes, nose, ears and your uh, body parts after uh, use of your hand sanitizer. Immediately don't touch these parts. And same like this, don't store these hand sanitizers in kitchens and cause uh, because uh, we know very well it is made up of alcohols and it may cause accidental fire. Same like this, uh, don't handle these uh, hand sanitizer in place of fire and flammable substance wherever you have. Don't use it off. 
okay so in that cases don't use this hand sanitizer okay so hand sanitizer just we have discussed it is very very essential for hand washing that is important but in which place you have to use in which place we can't use soap and water in that place it is very very effective okay but same like this same like this you can't use this hand sanitizer for regular wash okay well, you can't use this hand sanitizer for regular wash so keep this in your mind children in which place you can use this hand hand sanitizer and in in which place you can't use this okay and uh, one more thing also we have uh, informed i have informed already uh, we are going to discuss about disinfectant also what is disinfectant do you have uh, any idea about disinfectant that also that disinfectant mainly it will kill germs you know very well uh, uh, generally uh, around us we have many germs and bacteria around us to kill the germs and uh, to remove the bacteria and we need to remove the germs and we need to kill the germs mainly we will use uh, what is that uh, cleaners and sanitizers and disinfectant like this mainly we will use sterilant uh, like these substances we will use for cleaning isn't it and in which places we will use cleaner uh, for example i will show to you see this is one cleaner what is this this is one cleaner uh, what is written here it is glass and a household cleaner uh, what is written in this it will clean uh, germs so it is used as a floor cleaner this floor cleaner is used to uh, remove germs uh, from surface okay and this is cleaner what is this just this is cleaner okay and uh, here i have uh, one what is this disinfectant here it is written disinfectant uh, it is act as a disinfectant and uh, here it is written it is used for cleaning and it kill germs germ kill this is disinfectant this uh, disinfectant will clean germs it is written on this it will clean germs isn't it and uh, this is a hand sanitizer in this hand sanitizer also it is written it kills 99.9% germs uh, without water okay so all these uh, cleaner and uh, disinfectant this hand sanitizer all these substances are used to uh, what is that uh, remove or kill germs bacteria and whatsoever around us uh, it, it will cause disease making uh, germs and bacteria if it is around us we know very well to clean that or to remove that to kill that substance generally we are using these substance like cleaner and uh, disinfectant and this uh, hand wash that is uh, sanitizers okay so these sanitizers nowadays in this covid 19 situation these hand sanitizers and these disinfectant is very very important that's why in this class today we are uh, discussing about these sanitizers uh, importance and use and do's and don'ts okay so keep this in your mind children and uh, discuss about with your uh, friends also so whenever you need to use these hand sanitizer only use that place whenever you don't want to use that uh, hand sanitizers you please you will avoid and whenever if you are using check expiry date and whenever if you are using uh, keep it safe okay same like this disinfectant also what is disinfectant it will remove it will kill germs uh, that disinfectant also uh, in which place if you are using mainly in toilets uh, or before and after use uh, we have to use uh, whenever we are using toilets before using toilets and after using toilets also we need to use disinfectant uh, compulsory isn't it because in that place mostly germs uh, and bacteria will occupy that place so we need to uh, clean with the help of disinfectant that disinfectant will act with that uh, uh, such a surface and it will remove germs and so 90 per mainly 99% it will kill germs so because of that reason we are getting the clean surface isn't it cleaner will not kill the germs but cleaner will remove the germs from surface so that's why we are using cleaner also so now uh, we are going to discuss about what is the difference between what is disinfectant and what is sanitizer what's the dis 
difference between disinfectant, uh, sanitizer, and the cleaner. Now I will tell you. Listen. So what is dis uh, disinfectant? Also disinfectant also it is one of the uh, what is the uh, agent that is used to kill germs. Okay children. So disinfectants uh, generally it is a chemical used in disinfection. Uh, so it will avoid disinfection. So we are calling that agents are called disinfectants. Okay. Uh, so for cleaning uh, mainly toilets and uh, swim, uh, swimming pool cleaning, uh, water cleaning, uh, water tank cleaning. In many places uh, we are using these disinfectants. Isn't it? So that disinfectants generally uh, not all disinfectants can kill all microorganisms. Only uh, very few disinfectants only will kill uh, some microorganism. Not all disinfectants can kill all type of microorganism. It is not possible. But uh, some uh, disinfectants will kill uh, some microorganisms. Each and every disinfectants have uh, its own activity. So, we can't judge uh, all disinfectants will kill all type of microorganism like that. Okay. So, keep that in your mind. So, disinfectants mainly used to uh, kill microorganisms that is bacteria, viruses and uh, germs uh, in uh, uh, many places. Uh, whenever we are using that uh, water tanks, that uh, for water tank cleaning, we will use some uh, chlorinated uh, disinfectants. And in toilet cleaning, we will use some disinfectants. Uh, and in swimming pool cleaning, we will use some disinfectant. Like this, we have many disinfectants. So, uh, that disinfectants, uh, see here, uh, hydrogen peroxide disinfectant is one of the disinfectant. And uh, that uh, generally, uh, they will prefer hydrogen peroxide uh, for its uh, uh, use after using uh, by using this is converted into water and oxygen. So for that uh, they will prefer mainly this hydrogen peroxide disinfectant. And in some places they will use uh, uh, quaternary ammonium compound that is wax is used as a disinfectant. This is also one of the uh, chemical substance that is quaternary ammonium compound. Wax they will generally call. And same like this, the chlorine compounds are also used as a disinfectant. You know that bleaching powder, uh, bleaches, mainly the bleaching powder and the bleaches where you will use the bleaching powder mainly you will use to uh, clean that water tanks, a uh, swimming pool, uh, like this water clean, that place is clean, you will use that bleaching powder, isn't it? And for cleaning, the, for bleaching cotton, and linen uh, in uh, industries, cotton and linen industries uh, to clean that, uh, to bleach that clothes, we will use this bleaching powder. So, many places we will use this bleaching powder. So, that bleaching powder also is one of the chlorine compound and the chlorine uh, act as a uh, very good disinfectant. So, mainly water is, you will see the chlorinated water. Uh, if you will go near the swimming pool, you will get the chlorine smell, isn't it? So that chlorine smell indicate that they have cleaned that water with the help of chlorine. So chlorine acts as generally a good disinfectant. So to clean that water tank or swimming pool whatsoever, generally they will use this disinfectant. It will remove, it will kill germs mainly and remove microorganism also. So uh, next alcohol based uh, disinfectant also in some places uh, they, have, they are using uh, in, that is only uh, for human being we can't consume alcohol if we are taking alcohol it is bad for our health but in some places they are using this alcohol also uh, one of the disinfectant in factories and uh, some places and in some places they are using aldehyde disinfectants that aldehyde also one of the uh, chemical substance uh, organic compound so that uh, is used as a disinfectant in many places and phenolic compounds like phenols this also used a disinfectant in some places like this we have many different types of disinfectant about this you will discuss in your higher studies uh, don't uh, mind that don't keep it in your mind uh, what is this and all just you have to know uh, like this uh, type of disinfectants we are using in our daily life
okay mainly uh, in our home we are using the disinfectant to clean toilets and to clean sink and to clean kitchen tap now uh, in that places we are using some disinfectant and to clean water tank to clean swimming pools also we are using some disinfectant mostly that disinfectant is used to clean that is kill germs and used to remove uh, some microorganisms so due to that reason we are keeping that places safe okay so it is very very important disinfectants is used to clean our place uh, that is like uh, toilets and water tanks and swimming pools whatsoever and uh, say like this Uh, some uh, disinfectants which we will see it is uh, toxic we can't consume uh, any disinfectant and some it gives strain and some disinfectants are corrosive uh, we are calling that uh, alcohol and hydrogen peroxide and quaternary ammonium compounds chlorine and we all our all compounds are it is uh, chemical substance it is made up of chemical substance mostly that chemical substance contain uh, acids and uh, some other chemicals combined to form these chemicals are uh, corrosive in nature generally you know very well acids are corrosive in nature so these uh, chemicals also it is sometimes it is corrosive in nature what is corrosive it will corrode uh, the surface of uh, uh, metals or surface uh, surface of skin if we are consuming if we are taking uh, if we are adding on our skin it will uh, make corrosion and stain and toxic and some are uh, makes undesirable odor what is odor it's smell isn't it it makes undesirable odor unpleasant smell uh, in sometimes the chlorine uh, bleach bleach if they are using in some places if we are going near to that place if over bleach uh, can uh, give uh, some eye irritation and that smell uh, in sometimes we can't Uh, smell that uh, we can't intake that smell. It gives some irritating uh, smell and it gives some irritating. Uh, what is that feeling? Isn't it? In some places, mostly uh, some disinfectant will give undesirable odor. And same like this, uh, whenever we are using all these type of disinfectant, you need to check the toxicity. So you have they will give some uh, label on that uh, disinfectant. You have to check. whether uh, the toxicity of uh, that disinfectant will mention there so you have to check that and you will buy that disinfectant okay so hereafter whenever you are buying disinfectant in your home you have to check what are the chemicals are there uh, what are the toxicity is mentioned whether it is uh, some other some of the disinfectant it is toxic it is mentioned in toxic strain are mentioned strain corrosive means mention the corrosive odor sun plus it means it will mention on this uh, label and check to that here after okay children and same like this uh, the, this disinfectant is used to uh, kill germs as well as used to remove microorganisms and it gives a uh, safe to that uh, uh, places so these disinfectant and hand sanitizers are very very important nowadays uh, to keep a safe and healthy life okay children so what we have discussed we have discussed about sanitizer what's the use of sanitizer mainly these sanitizers will reduce bacteria and kill germs and remove germs and same like this uh, we have uh, discussed about disinfectant what's the use of that disinfectant this will kill uh, fungi bacteria and viruses uh, and what's the use of uh, cleaners just cleaners simply remove dirt or uh, impurities from surface just it will remove uh, dirt or it will remove impurities from surface so in our daily life now in this pandemic situation uh, we are very 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 uh, careful uh, in our daily life so uh, you are discussing you are studying about chemistry so you know about matters we have lots of matter around us in that matter it is table chair we and everything is made up of matter same like this chemicals also it is uh, made up of matter so about that chemical today we have discussed about there is very important substance uh, that is we are uh, using in our daily life in this pandemic situation about that uh, hand washes that soap hand wash soap also it is made up of chemical substance uh, soap also it is made up of uh, uh, chemical substance and uh, detergents also made up of chemical substance hand washes uh, generally sanitizers also made up of chemical substance 
and floor cleaning using that uh, cleaners also is made up of chemical substance disinfectant also made up of chemical substance like this most of the substance around us is made up of chemicals isn't it so chemistry plays a very very important role in your daily life about that uh, we have discussed only two chemicals today about the sanitizer and the disinfectant nowadays these uh, two objects will help a lot in our daily life that sanitizer role is very important nowadays uh, before and after uh, touching anything or uh, uh, using anything you need to clean your hands with the help of sanitizer isn't it whenever soap and water is not possible uh, use a sanitizers that is better use 60 percent alcohol made sanitizer don't try to make your own sanitizer children okay so keep it safe uh, keep it in safe place and uh, use uh, use very 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 uh, in a polite manner that is uh, don't uh, uh, waste sanitizers it will uh, still uh, outside uh, it will make us uh, sometimes irritation for children also so use carefully and then these sanitizers uh, contain alcohol so don't keep it inside the kitchen or cause or in some places it, it may catch immediately fire in that places don't keep these sanitizers and the same like this disinfectants also is important nowadays because mainly in toilets and uh, sink whenever you, uh, we are uh, washing hands and in that sink toilets and um, uh, water tank and in many places we need to clean that places with the help of disinfectant so disinfectant use also it is a lot in our uh, daily life so that is disinfectants mainly it is used to uh, kill uh, fungi bacteria and viruses so we are using that disinfectant in our daily life same like this we are using the sanitizers to reduce bacteria and also to kill germs so a uh, very very important these things are in your daily life keep this in your mind and whenever you have to use these things and in which places uh, don't use uh, in which conditions you have to maintain all these things you know in this class today i think so so these things is very useful to your daily life keep this in your mind and follow this children and discuss about this with your parents and friends and your younger brothers and sisters and be safe and be aware of your life with the help of these by using sanitizers and by using disinfectant and be feel free and be happy always don't use like these substance without any knowledge of your parents so this may cause irritation and pain and sometimes uh, uh, eye, eye irritation will make eye irritations also it is very very painful so don't use these with the help of your uh, parents so just you have to know about this what is this and what is the usage of this and when you have to use and where you have to use i hope all these things uh, you have learned today so uh, follow these things uh, in your daily life and be feel free and be safe children thank you